Okay, so I am resurrecting something I have on my YouTube channel called Quick Thoughts because we had a bomb drop today while I was organizing my photos from Saturday. Warner Brothers Discovery is showing Batgirl and the Scoob sequel and writing them off as tax returns. <sighs> I just, I, uh, so I haven't had a chance to read like the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who broke it. I think it was Hollywood Reporter or I don't know, whatever. But at first um, it was New York Post, actually, because I originally saw it on Twitter at like one o'clock and I was like, yeah, this is New York Post. I'm not taking this seriously. And then around six or so on my personal Facebook, I saw one of my friends shared the Variety article from this. I'm like, holy shit, this is really happening. Yeah. Um, because... It doesn't... If it is what it sounds like it is, it doesn't make really any sense. Yeah. And let me start off by saying that if you feel the need to post Restore the Snyderverse, but praise Batgirl getting shelved, just kindly fuck off because you just went against your own motivation for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yeah. I just... I don't know. <laughs> like, I know they said the cost of this is $90 million. It was destined for HBO Max to begin with, but that was before uh, when they ordered it. They said that they... Um, hadn't hadn't done the failed experiment of everything to hbo max and to theaters in the same day which is we all know how it turned out yeah. um and so as they were getting into it they were starting to talk reshoots and then oh no 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 we're putting this on theatrical and then uh Zaz, zazlav comes in new guy new management and starts taking you know axing things michael keaton was involved in this um actually a big big chunk of 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 like whatever his story is going to be moving forward is in this film and so now they spent 90 million um they want their blockbusters to be big and bold or whatever so scrap it recast it i thought it was wrapped you know but so yeah i'm not it sure it was wrapped it went as far as fit test screening yeah. yeah, they had enough of a cut for a test screening. Then you're factoring in a Dylan Bilal's involvement with this, in which they were recently involved with Ms. Marvel. And then when reading some of their interviews, like, they don't even know what timeline this is taking place in because they describe Batgirl as, like, a good multiverse spaghetti. Oh, that's... Well... I mean, maybe, uh, I don't really know, man. Warner Brothers, I hope in all of this madness they can find, I hope I hope they are in free fall and, and they finally do find solid ground to land on. I, I hope that out of all this madness, we definitely get a clear vision forward. Clearly, they ordered another Joker. Uh, they're working on uh, the Batman 2. Um, they're not messing with any of those because those are, you know, home runs, whatever. Um, but as far as the DCEU goes, you know, Affleck is popping up in Aquaman and then Batgirl's canceled a couple days later. It really doesn't yeah. make much sense at all. Yeah, but there are a lot of things that are coming from this in the course of these 10 days with Warner Brothers' disastrous showing at Comic-Con, which they just rolled out two trailers that really should have been released already. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, Batfleck is returning for Aquaman 2. I'm like, okay, this sounds interesting. And right. then you have the announcement of Alan Horn, who, mind you, is extremely pro-Snyder. So my Wait, main is question... A Alan Horn's in or out? Alan Horn is in at Warner Brothers, as well as Michael DeLuca, both of whom are pro Snyder. Yeah, I just don't think that they're going to bring back the Snyderverse. I don't think that the numbers are there. I think that if anything, they'll bring back pieces, but I just don't see them wheeling uh, Zack Snyder yeah. back into the. F I could be totally wrong. I, you know, I'm an asshole, so I could be totally fucking wrong. Yeah. But, but um, they, uh, I just don't see that. I just think they looked at the returns and like, wait a minute, this can't be right. You know, yeah. um, my, my problem is, is what happens to 
the film now because if it was good enough for a test screening and people were think, thinking it was great do they are we going to get an announcement in the next like month or two that they've beefed it up and now they're doing the whole thing over again in a different way for a big blockbuster release or what that's I under- the next big question because yeah. per per the article i read that per the art, variety article i read the second one they released after the announcement was that it was going if it were to take a tax write-off it will never see the light of day no theater no hbo max no nothing no selling to netflix it they're eating the loss basically Mm-hmm. And then you got to factor in something else. What's going to happen to the Flash movie? I mean... Especially with Ezra Miller and their shit going on. Especially with all the things you're hearing about this. In which, apparently, they're doing Man of Steel, but with Supergirl. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I just, I feel like... I feel like they need to get Cavill back. Okay. They just need to do yeah. that and get it and get it over with. Right. That's number one. I'm all for Keaton coming back. I think that's a wonderful idea. Really wonderful idea. Yeah. Um, but if you're bringing it. Keaton back for pandering fan service reasons, it's going to suck. But if you naturally integrate Keaton into the story, it's going to be fucking phenomenal. But chances are it's going to be the former. They're bringing him back for pandering fan service. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they need something. Um, They need some sort of glue, right? And we all want to fucking check back in with Keaton. And Keaton wants to check back in with Keaton. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I mean, whatever. I, 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 I just think he would be great glue to work around, you know, but like, don't bring him back and then fucking kill him. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. like, so like, I'm cool with him showing up as a Nick Fury type character, but I don't want him to lose that cool of, of the, of the 89 Batman. He kind of lost it a little bit in Batman returns. Um, I personally do not like Batman returns. I don't care what anyone says. I think Tim Burton left unhinged is, uh, was a huge mistake, you know? Yeah. Um, I just think that the cool kind of aloof yet I care, um, he's, he's, he's the, he's the one, I mean, that, that, that Keaton, I'm sorry, that Bruce Wayne Batman from 89 is a fucking beast, dude. And like seeing him older and maybe fucking more bitter and like grimier could be insane. Exactly. And then. In my early review for Wonder Woman, back when I had the blog, I compared the DCU at the time to the Cleveland Browns. The more I think <laughs> about it, it's like Warner Brothers, the better analogy for the Cleveland Browns is Warner Brothers. They keep bringing in all these people. They keep cutting all the wrong people out. They keep trying to make these things. And nobody seems to be on the right page. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then no one is I mean, on the right page. Yeah, and then you have Sony saying, "Fuck it, let's do a Madam Web movie with Dakota Johnson and Sydney Sweeney and El Muerto with Bad Bunny, whoever the fuck El Muerto is." I just don't. I, mean, I think that there, that's so. <laughs> In the world of failed cinematic universes, uh, it goes so far, right? Uh, I would argue that um, out of the two that suck, I would argue that Sony's sucks harder than than uh, the DCEU, right? But the DCEU is totally fucked. Like, it's just not, yeah. there's no, there's nothing there. I mean, yeah, there's just nothing just there. Let, if you could have just let Snyder do his thing. They would be rivaling Marvel right now. Um, I'm going to disagree with you. That's nothing new. We disagree yeah. all the time, and that's fine. That's what makes the show good, right? But mm-hmm. I think that they would be locked into a place where at least there'd be a solid narrative. Exactly. Um, so there would be... 
the anti-life equation and three Justice League movies and, a, and you know, a Batman who sacrifices himself and an evil Superman and a Wonder Woman who cuts people's fucking heads off. And like, I'm all for all of that. Uh, I just think they did. They gave him the keys to the car and then stopped him at the first stoplight, you know? Exactly. And and you're right. Um, yeah, you I just... You could yeah. bring in all the post-Justice League movies that are all good to great and tie them in, especially given what would be the ending of Justice League 3 where every, literally everyone's a part of the Justice League. Like, you could bring in your Peacemakers. You can bring in your Birds of Prey. You can bring in the Shazamily and all that. You could make that work. But Warner Brothers doesn't think like that. They think with spite. Yeah. Well, I should say Toby Emmerich and Sarnoff and all those people. They think with spite. Yeah, it's really shitty. I mean, um, and I mean, Batgirl from the bits and pieces I saw looked genuinely good. Leslie Grace looked great in the outfit. I wanted to see Brendan Fraser play a vil villain, and I feel sorry for him because he's yeah. already working with DC with Doom Patrol. And I wonder what's going to be next after the fact. Are they going to get rid of all the DC, all the DC shows on HBO Max, like your Peacemakers, your? Batman spinoffs, all that, Doom Patrol? Well, I don't think, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. Is he coming for those next? Because I don't think he would, I don't think he'd do that to Doom Patrol, but like, uh, uh you know I mean, like he just fucking axed back around it was done. You know what I mean? So I think that Teen Titans needs to get whacked or whatever, Titans or whatever. I don't yeah. really, I don't know. The Edgelord Titans where even Zack Snyder would be like, tone it down a little bit. Yeah, I guess. I've never watched an episode. I hear Do Doom I, Patrol is incredible. I fucking love Doom Patrol. Like, Yeah. It's on my then, list. I just under yeah. underwater here. <laughs> and the thing is, with Batgirl, I was like, we need more medium budget comic book movies. Because I've stated, like, if you made Shang-Chi a $90 million budgeted movie, it would be a five-star film in my eyes. Where you focus on Shang-Chi and Wenwu together and their relationship. And not, you know, do the fuck off boss battle at the end. And then bring in Trevor. And then just bring the movie down to what was essentially a solid A first and second act. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> it's so yeah. stressful. It's like, I feel like... I want more details on why and 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 you've read more than I have today. Like what are they saying? Like what are the what are the quotes? Like we just felt we wanted to do a theatrical but we're not going to do a theatrical. Fuck off. Like what what are they saying? There's nothing really being said on the thing. We we haven't heard from Adilan Bilal. We haven't heard from Leslie Grace. In fact, the only thing we've heard from Leslie Grace is she deleted her costume photo from her Instagram. Oh, that's sad. That sucks. Yeah, I know. That's horrible. I feel sorry for her because I felt she was great in In the Heights. And especially given she comes from a dancer background, I think she could have the agility to be a great back girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And quite frankly, I'm just going to say this bluntly. You got to spend money to make money. Zazlov yeah. needs to realize that. And it yeah. sounds like they are, but they're going to make something like, they're going to make something like, oh, I don't know, Plastic Man, a $200 million movie, when it really shouldn't be. Wait, is it, who, who greenlit that? When was no, that No, I was just throwing out an example. Oh, no, I know, but they did talk about it. Uh, oh, wow, <laughs> I just threw up. I just threw out something random. I didn't know about that. But quite <laughs> frankly, I'm just going to say this bluntly. Sure. Warner Brothers did Disney a huge favor. Because what do you want to bet Disney's going to come knocking on Dylan Bilal's doors and saying, we want you guys to direct Secret Wars. Oh, wow. Wait, say because that last part again? 
what if Dylan Bilal directed Secret Wars? Especially given their work on Ms. Marvel, which to me is the only consistently yeah. good Marvel show of the shows I've seen so far. You don't because think they try to, to poach the Russo brothers or something over at Warner Brothers, do you? No, I wouldn't poach. I wouldn't think they're poaching the Russo brothers because the Russo said they want to do their own thing. They said they're done with superhero movies for a while. And now mm-hmm. they're... 0.5 out of three. We'll get into more of that later. Yeah, with the for green sure. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's coming soon. As it is, but as it is, I just wish Warner Brothers had their shit together enough. Best case scenario, we see the post credit scene, we see Hen- in Black Adam, and we see Henry Cavill come back. Yeah. Because chances are Dwayne Johnson is holding that cameo close to his chest. He's being the anti Tom Holland. Yeah. Because he, he kept getting straight up booed out because Snyder fans are thinking he's working with Toby Emmerich because of Super Pets. Again, we'll talk about that later. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> That's going to be sometime this weekend. Yeah, for sure. All I right. mean, it's, it, yeah. I, the, yeah. Yep. <laughs> but it's like I have to get all this out right now and talk to yeah. somebody about. Yeah. Well, and 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 maybe and maybe you could talk a little bit about Black Adam, right? Because I think it looks phenomenal. I think it looks great. Yeah. I think it could it could potentially go either way. I was actually when I went to see Thor, I sat next to a uh, some dude and his girlfriend, and like after the trailer, he's like, Meh, "Just don't fuck it up. Don't yeah. fuck it up." And I, and I actually verbally said out loud goddamn right you know what i mean because we're all feeling it you know yeah Mm-hmm. black <clears throat> m's either gonna make or break the dcu at this point well and he his whole uh uh his whole thing is like the balance of power and i can do a really good impression i think right ready it's like the balance of the power in the dc universe is about to change like that whole thing right that whole that whole thing he says finally the hierarchy of power is about to change you you're right it you're right it's about to change no why batman's fucking gone superman's not there the guy who plays flash doesn't show up for work ever is fucking running around raping (laughs) people or whatever the only people you have the fight is aquaman bro and wonder woman yeah and Wonder Woman's being canceled for being Israeli. Ugh, I can't with this shit. I don't know what's yeah. going on. I mean, I just want everyone to do what's right and be fucking done with it. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, at this point, it's like, get your shit together with this. Best case scenario, they announce the Snyderverse. Worst case scenario, they shit out the Flash. And then everyone, Guys. both Snyder fans and DC fans, are going to be fucking disappointed. Yeah, I, I mean, I I think that we all, I mean, I don't know. This is just toxic bullshit or whatever, but I just think yeah. that we all want, we all want some quality shit. Why not just put yeah. one or two, one or two movies out per year and, and fucking don't even, and j- just like fucking uh, sort of like, I don't know, like fucking um, inch your way towards it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, don't drop little Easter eggs. Like, oh, the same soda in every universe, in every movie. It must be the same. You like, start over. Pull the fucking plug yeah. out. Like, keep keep Black Adam. Keep what I mean. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, what happens if Aquaman two bombs? Exactly. Then it's over. I mean, maybe mm-hmm. maybe the faster the shit. I don't want to wish hell on any project or whatever, but maybe they it, maybe just we need gritty R rated stuff for a while from them and so they can get it together you know exactly and you know what yeah I it's think very I've frustrating just exercised i think i've just exercised all my thoughts let's just go <laughs> ahead and end this okay yeah all for right. sure well, it's sure frustrating like, comment share spread the word new realms media follow me on all my socials at new realms media and until then we'll see you next time